Transpaco is a packaging group which manufactures, distributes and recycles plastic and paper products. Now it used to be called Transvaal Paper and Packaging or something. That's where Transpaco comes from. But it's the, what's the, it's the Ehrenstein family? Abelheim family. Abelheim family. Yeah. Abelheim family. No, we've got a problem sure. here. It's under a billion rand in terms of market cap. Only mm. just. <laughs> just for the moment. <laughs> just for the moment. Dividend <laughs> yield of 4.4%, price to earnings ratio of 9.3. You've got to do like two minutes on this one because we're sure. really out of time on the show. Each of the stocks that I've given you have these common attributes. They are on undemanding multiples. Uh, they return profit to shareholders with the exception of master drilling. They're all well established. Here's a company that's been around since 1940. Listed in 1987, one of the survivors of the listings boom. They've paid uh, dividends uninterrupted since the late 1990s. And um, uh, uh, the balance sheet is uh, ungeared, uh, which means return on assets and return on equity are both uh, are, are identical and uh, elevated uh, up in the high teens, just shy of 20%. So here's a company that doubles its size through internal uh, compounding every three and a half years. What or not? The sector worries me. A little bit of overtrading. I know that Impact had a little bit of a wobble recently. We know Astropax in turn. Okay, you worried about the sector? Respond mm. quick. Well, I'm going to put the same macro thesis in that the economy is going to be uh, in better shape next year than this year. Consumer spending will recover. They'll benefit uh, from that consumer spending. And the business is diversified. It's not in a single packaging division. Is that enough? No. <laughs> <laughs>